Hey, what's going on guys? All right, we're back with, now this is, I have a, 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 a Lucchese here, a Lucchese unboxing here. So what I'd like to say about this particular Lucchese uh, Roper is that um, this is the one that I always had my eye on. So I know I got the, um, the green suede, or I can't remember what they called it, forest green, whatever that, that's green suede. And then I went on and got the buffalo and I got the goat and, and black cherry. But I always had my eye on this one here that I am pulling out for you right now to see this Lucchese Roper. And the reason I wanted this one, here, let's just get into this. No more of this uh, hesitation here. Uh, oh, <laughs> today I'm wearing the Red Wing 8188 uh, in the uh, Hawthorne. Okay, so uh, the reason I wanted this one, and we see it's, uh, it's a Bannock, and so uh, it comes with the certificate so that you can fill it out, send it back in case anything happens to the boot. They can fix it for you and sort that. A nice boot bag. Again, if you've seen... Uh, my Lucchese unboxings. Uh, the Bannock comes with a boot bag. Not all of them do. Um, and let's see here. All right. So this is it. This is the Lucchese Roper in um, what they call sand burn wax. All right. So I think you could probably guess why I wanted this one. Um, and I was, I was always eyeing it and I just got everything around it when I would look, but never bought it. And then the thing is, this was a limited, um, a limited edition, a limited, I'm not sure exactly, but it was limited on the site. And when I went back to look, it was gone. And I was like, ah, I missed it, but I ended up finding it somewhere else. Um, you can call the stores directly or see if they have it. But I, I wanted this one to directly compare it to the 8188, which I'm wearing. This one here has a heel stack on it, if you remember. I don't know if I've showed you guys. So I wanted to get this to compare it to that. Uh, this, it's nice. And now, so this is, um, uh, I have to look at the name uh, to, to be totally correct. But uh, they, they call it uh, Sand Burn Wax. And it is a, a cowhide, uh, you know, the rough out. You know, I love a rough out. Um, leather lined, of course, uh, totally, totally gorgeous. And you see that uh, they have that um, kind of like uh, sandpaper that they scuffed already on there, which I don't remember the other ones having that. I don't remember that. Um, but uh, equivalent to um, the Hawthorne looking at it by sight, looking at it, uh, it is basically uh, the, looks like a Red Wing uh, Hawthorne uh, leather. Um, and uh, very excited to try these on and give them a comparison to the 8188. It'd be like the Red Wing Roper versus the Lucchese Roper, head to head. It's a shootout. So I've had these for almost two weeks now. I've been uh, too busy to actually, uh, uh, take them out or do the unboxing or shoot the video. So I've been really anxious. I just keep passing the box uh, in, in the hallway, wanting to, <laughs> to put them on and try them on and, and, uh, and style them. But um, I'm excited that I'm able to finally do this now. I've just been uh, busy with other things. So uh, very excited to uh, get these ropers on my feet. Let's take a closer look at the Lucchese roper and uh, sand. Okay, so here's a closer look at the Lucchese Bannock Roper in uh, suede sand. So um, if you look at the listing, it's called suede, but um, you also see that they call it uh, Comanche suede. Uh, if it's French, it's, it would be Comanche suede, but I think it's Comanche uh, suede, and which they say is a thicker and it's a rougher uh, grain. Um, you know how with the Red Wing um, 8188, uh, they don't use a suede, they use a rough out. So the difference between a suede and a rough out is that 
the rough out is just the reverse of the leather versus the suede is they actually just take layers off of the top leather and to get to this. So like, for example, I have the olive roper here. Um, this to, this to me feels like a suede because it's super soft. You can see how this, the shaft is just easily like malleable versus on here, this one is definitely rougher. It's very, it's, it is stiffer. And this, although does feel that's easy to, to pinch and, and move about, it's not, it doesn't feel as soft as this. So uh, what Lucese is saying on the listing for this boot is that this particular uh, Comanche suede is, is uh, built for the, the outdoor, built for, uh, to take, you know, whatever, uh, elements that you're going to use this although they don't say anything about it being um, waterproof so I would probably spray these um, although you know with the Red Wing um, rough out if you do get water droplets on it you just take your brush and just go across it uh, and it will get out water droplets but anything else would probably kind of stain that um, this has a uh, R toe on there and an R heel, and it's a one inch uh, heel. Uh, like all the ropers, they have that walking heel, which I really like. Um, and then you have your leather sole, uh, which the other Lucchese ropers I picked up did not have this. Let me, let's do a close up of that so you can see that. You can see how they sanded the leather to give it a kind of look. And they've also kind of did that also along the edge here. It has, you know, a bit of sanding to give it something that's slightly rough, not as much as on um, the the olive that had that stone wash. Um, it doesn't have the, you know, the beat up heel and the beat up bottom like that one did, but uh, it does have like this little um, sanding on there, which is it's a nice touch. And the other thing that I really like is this light color here. It's a, a beige cream kind of color uh, contrasting with the uh, the rough out. Let's see if we can get closer on that so you can see that. Yeah, look at that. That's just a really nice touch of like having that color to contrast with there. Very nice. And then you can see the stitching here on the top. They have a little bit of stitching, nothing too crazy. Um, which is really nice as well. So I have to say, I, I really love this color um, of their uh, rough out. So it kind of look, it kind of has like a uh, maybe golden honey. I know they call it sand, but I, for me it has, you know, like this little dark spot here. If they, if they were um, uh, like the uh, Hawthorne leather, uh, where Red Ring will take the Hawthorne Albaline and then they put mink oil on it and you will have some uneven spots. This one for the most part is pretty even. Um, even looking at the other boot itself here, it's quite even, except for in the same spot, it has that like little browning. Um, and in here, maybe a little bit, there's like a little touch of that, but uh, it's quite even versus uh, if you were looking at uh, a red wing, um, Hawthorne leather, it can kind of like have spots where the the mink oil was a little bit heavier. But this boot is uh, fully leather lined, which is uh, my favorite. Uh, it's super soft. Uh, you could take a look in there. Just, uh, I'm so glad that I was able, like I, I was sleeping on these and when I honestly, when I went to look to finally buy them, or maybe I was looking just at, at another roper and I saw that they were gone from the site, I panicked and I, I was like, I, I, don't, I, I wanted these. These were the ones that I kind of like kept my eye on, but just kept like delay, delay, delay. And I'm glad that I did, but they were, they're expensive. These aren't, aren't cheap uh, uh, ropers. So um, that was kind of like why I didn't initially um, purchase them because it was, you know, it's a $500 boot. I, I needed to uh, get the funds first, you know, after having like, uh, I don't know how many are behind me already, um, but I'm extremely excited to add these to the collection, especially comparing them to uh, 
Red Wings, um, rough out Red Wings Hawthorne because uh, this would be a, a nice little, um, nice little test to see how this compares to that. And also uh, styling, uh, I, I do wear the 81, 88 a lot. Um, and so uh, this one with, you know, certain, uh, certain look um, can definitely go with a few more outfits. But um, finally, I finally have <laughs> the Bannock suede in the collection. Can't tell you how excited I am about it. Loving that detail, man. That's just really nice. All right, let's do the on feet. All right, here we go with the on feet. I am wearing Tanu Denim Natural Selvage Denim with these uh, Lucese Sand Rough Out boots. I chose the uh, natural denim to highlight that side welt that you see here. Um, that is kind of like in the um, cream color, beige color. Um, that's why I decided to go with the natural selvage denim. And so if you've seen my Lucchese reviews, I kind of, um, uh, this will just be a repeat on, on how they feel on feet. Um, very comfortable out of the box. Um, I do go um, a half size down in the double E width, so that definitely helps with any kind of break-in. Um, but there's really not that much break-in with the um, roper, although I will say with the, the last um, roper that I purchased, which was the uh, goat, the Mad Dog Goat, um, I took those out and I did probably, let's see, I, I walked maybe like uh, four miles in them all around um, Soho. And the, since that leather is quite stiff, right about here, um, it was starting to rub up on my um, heel, on my ankle there, on this bit here, um, breaking those in. So um, the other two that I have, I didn't have that issue, but I think because that, that uh, goat leather is so, uh, especially with that particular one, it's so um, stiff. That I did have that issue with um, on my I felt I mostly felt it on this side here um, like digging into to my um, my ankle the other thing that I wanted to point out to like those of you who feel like um, the Lucchese ropers are a little too Western if you look at the silhouette it just looks like a really nice Chelsea that I'm wearing you and also with the cut of the the pants that I'm wearing, the jeans that I'm wearing, you can't really see the shaft. Um, so uh, I wouldn't be afraid of not wanting to go with a uh, a Lucchese roper, especially because it has a walking heel. So it's not like you know where you have that that Western um, boot heel that really high and then. You know the the toe is not as pointy as um, those Western boots that you might find. So uh, if you're kind of like, no, the Roper, the Lucchese Roper is too um, Western, too cowboy for me. Um, I think you should give it a try. I, honestly, look at that. Look at that that profile. That profile is quite narrow. It's it's a beautiful profile, and you would never know um, that the boot is the shaft is coming up to right here. You would never you would never see that i mean if you if you had jeans that were extremely tight then you would see you know the shaft like when you wear engineers you can kind of see um some depending on the 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 pant you wear you can see uh where the shaft is but on these you can't see that at all so i uh, just wanted to point that out um for those of you who are kind of like definite no's or maybe some of you who are kind of like on the fence about it but um i have to say i love the way these look because um, I'm a huge fan of Rough Out, as some of you who um, follow the, the channel know that I absolutely love a Rough Out. Um, and these, uh, I'm so glad that I was able to find these because I was sleeping on them. And if I didn't, I would have really been heartbroken. But uh, 
Here you go, the Lucchese Roper in sand on feet. Okay, so that is the Lucchese Bannock Roper in sand. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.